Let's get it, folks. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be fun. So much fun. Uh, let's talk about some footy. Let's get caught up. So we're gonna get caught up on things here. And then what I want to get into really about Chivas is like what the hell is going on with this team? And like a lot of people are talking about Olympia, right? They already kicked out the coach, um, Ortega, the current interim coach. They kicked him out. They fired him. He was only interim. Uh, now starts the real conversation of who do they bring in, what's going to happen. And there's a whole bunch of talk about what players should stay, who is like salvageable. I know players have contracts, but we're just going to, maybe I'll do a little exercise no matter what like their contract is. We'll just talk about like, all right, who, like who should be at Chivas, who should not be at Chivas. Let's, I'm going to give you guys a rundown real quick who needs to be there. Oscar Wally, like, bro, you better not be charging a lot of money. Vergara's chilling the two the stadium, packing the stadium with two men's teams and the women's. The Walla be happy, I bet. I heard they have a terrible financial situation, which I would love more details on because bro, I think Chivas I think Chivas uh averaged the highest uh attendance this whole season in in men's in uh Chivas. Tapatio filled that whole stadium in finales. You got a whole playoffs worth of money in a final where hella Chivas fans went to it. Pack that thing. I know the women's team does pretty solid as far as average attendance goes, and they made playoffs. Uh, so if you're having financial problems outside of that, like, what are you doing, my guy? Goddamn, you're not investing in Bitcoin like the rest of us? I don't think it has. But Rangel Wally. Wally, if you're charging too much, sorry, pero bye bye. Traeme al, al dragon as my backup to Rangel, and you got a good one too. And I'll take that because that means that El Dragon is just waiting for Tala for something to happen, unfortunate, or, or maybe he balls out even better and he comes up for him. Right? So I'll take that one too. Uh, sell Wale for 500K transfer to uh, La America. If they want him as a backup, he'll probably ball out there. Jesus Sanchez, El Chapito, is retiring. So, ya se nos fue uno. Ahí está uno. Pollo Briseño is probably going to get run out of town because of that, that huge mistake, the blunder on the on the foul. But I think as a backup, I think he's a good backup. Que no cobre. Que cobre baratón. Alan Mosso is a good personality hire. Alan Mosso, 27 years old, still good age. This market value is complete horseshit. Nobody's going to pay $5 million, $4.5 million for him. He's a personality hire that this fool's a Lucha Libre character out there. And he will freaking, he's going to do marametas and like get the crowd going. I love that piece. Um, le salen las ofensivas sometimes, but in the biggest games, he's not, he's not good enough. Uh, but they'll probably keep him. I hope he doesn't renew and charge a whole bunch. But he's the best that they have. El Tiba needs to come back. This fool's been injured, no? Where the fool's this, this fool been? I'm assuming that's why they put in Oyo that he's been injured for a while. But Tiba and Chiquete have to be that duo unless Chiquete goes to Europe, which I hope he does. Then finally give that range to, um, to Jose Castillo. And do Jose Castillo and Tiba. Luis Olivas. This fool's one of those Mazatlan goes to Mazatlan, goes to Querétaro, sell him to Querétaro. Wait, you're not going to get any money. Well, apparently he's injured, so. That fool's just cobrando para hacer nada. Leo Sepulveda from the El Pocho is not good enough. But G Market Valley, so probably not too bad. And this fool played in Europe? Ni sabía. Let's see it a lot better, man. A lot better. Liga Mekki should come easy to him. Luis Gabriel Rey, this fool, played with... Uh, isn't it kind of funny? Some of these players, they bring them up, the Chivas, like, first first team squad, and then they, they go back, and then they don't get a lot of minutes. This fool only played 34 minutes with Tapatio in the final. You would have thought they'd be like, hey, you're the first team baller. Play every minute. But or not. Uh, keep him. 
I think he's going to be the future of another future stud center back. Get rid of Olivas, but this fool right there. Del Chavez is the future 20 year old left back. Bring in uh, Jose Castillo to the middle uh, with Tiba. Mateo Chavez on one side. Alan Mosso or somebody better on those. Raul Martinez is a pretty solid center back then. Keep him in there. Keep him in there. Get rid of Olivas. Sell Chiquita to Europe. Get a bag. Fix those financial problems. Get healthy again as a normal. El Conejito, stay there. No me cobras mucho, way, but you're a legend. El Oso, good, good backup, but like low-key dangerous for a starting position, man. Like, like, he is not fast enough to be to make Chivas elite, but there's nobody better, in all honesty, because uh, Eric Gutierrez, how is he beating Omar Govea, dude? You've spent two and a half million for this guy. I called it out on the podcast. Do not spend that money where you don't need it. He's 28 years old, was sucking at Monterrey. No need to bring a center defensive mid when El Freaking Oso at 30 years old, looks like he's 50, is doing that job perfectly average. Perfectly average. You don't need Omar Govet. You don't need to spend two and a half million to get somebody that does it perfectly average. And even worse, he doesn't start over Loso. That was a horrible decision. Now you're holding a bag, and you're not going to get any of that money back Back for Omar Govea. He's going to go on a free, and he's going to end up at freaking Pachuca or something. And do okay. La Morfa, La, la Morsa, no? Flores. Um, Don Mazatlan. 29 years old, no. Out. Bocho Guzman started doing better towards the end, but not good enough, man. Not good enough. Played 15 minutes against Atlético San Luis. Why do you need? Why does he need to play the whole game here? I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit. Yeah, El Bocho Guzman. I would say sell high, but it's not high. Keep him there and hope he gets better next season. Nene Beltran is the one, the hot take that I have, folks. Sell high. Sell high on the Nene. Nobody's going to pay five and a half million. Sell him to Los del Norte for $3 million. Do not take a center defensive mid in exchange for him. Sell him to Los del Norte for $3 million or get somebody offensive. Sell, uh, sell him to America and get... Uh, no, no, no. I, what I would do is sell to los, los del Norte and then take that cash and low ball for el, chi, el Chiquito, el Chiquito Sanchez to America. Chiquito Sanchez is struggling, struggling, struggling. Low ball, get him out of there. He wants to leave there. Promise him he'll go to Europe in a year. Uh, and swap out Nene for Chiquito Sanchez would be the biggest come up for Chivas. Not a direct trade because I don't think uh, America would want Nene. But, I mean, maybe. I mean, instead of Alan Cervantes. Pavel Perez, my God. You're very talented, but take that talent somewhere else in the Yankees and ball out there because you showed you don't have the backbone in the big moments. You screwed up big time and did Chivas dirty last season. Um, kind of shat the bed. And you're not going to get any better at 26. Vámonos para afuera también. Daniel Aguirre from LA Galaxy is 25 years old and he didn't do anything all season. He didn't even debut. No. This is the guy that needs to debut. To play. Where has he been? Is he not even on... He's not even with... Uh, Tapatio and he barely played with Chivas all season and you paid that much money for Fidel Barajas? No. Fidel Barajas needs to come in next season. All these young studs need to be there. Padilla needs to be there in big numbers next season. Uh, he played eight minutes against Atlas. Reactionary. Reactionary. Not proactive, not preventative that they would lose. They put in Padilla, and then they uh, they put in uh, La 
No, Larmia didn't even play, dude. He played the whole game against Atletico San Luis. Why, uh, the majority of it, dude. I don't know. La Hormiga, Padilla, Fidel Barajas need to be the core next season. Cade Cowell needs to be in there. I would like for somebody better, and he's the revulsivo off the bench. Bro, he was the freaking sub at the Quakes by the end of the, his tenure here. They had Benji Kinkanovich, random fool from San Jose. Love the guy. Baller. But he took his starting spot, and then they finessed. He hasn't got $7 million for him. He is not good enough to be the starter for what Chivas needs to be, but he needs to be in there. Padilla, Fidel Barajas on the wings, Cowell off the bench. Car uh, Carlos Cisneros is not good enough. Get him out of there. Ricardo Marin, not good enough. Thank you. Bye-bye. Go back to Celaya. Pio Alvarado is good. Needs to be more clinical. Keep him there and don't will get build the damn team around him. That's it, folks. That's how Chivas start something. But that, so what did we say? We said get rid of Marin 1, Cisneros 2, Chicharito, motivational speaker. Just clean it up, por favor. 2. Daniel Aguirre, I don't care. Don't charge me a lot. Pavel Perez, 3, out. Fernando Beltran, get a bunch of money for him. 4, out. La Morsa, 5, out. Omar Govea, we're holding a bag. We can't do anything with it. You're probably going to stay. Five. Eric Gutierrez, pick it the hell up. Five. Uh, on defense, uh, Chiquete, six out. Go to Europe. Uh, Luis Olivas, go to second division. I don't care. Seven. Uh, uh, Chapito's already leaving. Seven, eight players. Seven, eight players you need to change. Uh, this will... This fool Vergara's not going to tap into the wallets. So they're going to get players from Tapatio and call it a uh, uh, revolución de puros morros. This dude, Uziel Gar Garcia, center back, is a baller. I want him up there. Uh, Camberos is pretty solid. Zamora is a, is a baller with a nose for a goal. Get him up there. Gael Garcia. 20 years old, bro. They're not kids. Start getting them in there over 27 to 31 year old guys that no te van a dar nada. Guys are all 19.3. They need to be in. All in. Angelo? That's what it is, folks, the life of a Chivas fan. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that episode. I hope you guys get to watch it and see it even in, in replay and see what I think of, of the players that need to be gone from Chivas. A good first piece to it is like, all right, who's just not Chivas quality? But I appreciate y'all for tuning in and uh, follow us. We got our turkey bowl coming this week. And we'll keep talking to you guys soon.